हेलो फ्रेंड्स रीजनिंग टाइप क्वेश्चन दे आर ऑलवेज लिटिल डिफिकल्ट टू आंसर एट फर्स्ट प्रॉफ लेवल सो लेट सी वन सच क्वेश्चन एंड लेट सी हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व सच क्वेश्चन ओके सो द क्वेश्चन इज कार्डियक आउटपुट इंक्रीजेज इन अनिमिया explain why now i'm sure uh, most of you will think about the logic anemia means decreased rbc count and uh, decreased hemoglobin so there is going to be hypoxia in the tissues and therefore to compensate for that uh, the cardiac output will increase as a compensatory mechanism now that's a logic they are not asking logic in the question they are asking what is the mechanism so let's figure out the mechanism a uh, cardiac output is equal to stroke volume into heart rate it's a product of stroke volume and heart rate now if any of them either of them increases either stroke volume or heart rate if it increases the cardiac output will increase so let's look at them one by one first the stroke volume anemia means a decreased rbc count and you know rbcs are the major contributors to the viscosity of blood so in anemia uh, the viscosity of blood is going to decrease remember viscosity uh, is a viscous drag on the blood flow it's a viscous resistance to the blood flow so lower the viscosity better is going to be the blood flow what happens here is because of the reduced viscosity the after load on the left ventricle decreases that viscous drag or viscous resistance will be less and therefore after load on the left ventricle will be less and you have to know this re reduced after load will increase the stroke volume yes repeat this once again less the after load greater is the stroke volume because left ventricle uh, it becomes easy for the left ventricle to pump out the blood into the aorta with less of the viscous resistance on the other hand uh, reduced viscosity means also the blood flow is now a little little smoother comparatively of course and therefore there is increased venous return to the heart and increased venous return to the heart means there is going to be increased end diastolic volume there is increased end diastolic length yes ventricular filling has increased so ventricular fiber length is going to be greater Uh, by the end of the diastole and that becomes the starting length for the next systole and you know greater the initial length stronger is the contraction stronger is the systole more is the stroke volume what is the law come on say it frank starling law so here preload uh, just remember this increase preload increases the stroke volume by frank starling law and also decrease after load also increases the stroke volume and uh, eventually therefore stroke volume is greater the second point heart rate what about the effect on heart rate yes anemia results in hypoxia and hypoxia increases the heart rate it causes tachycardia now why does that happen we will see that mechanism in the next video on reasoning but for now just remember anemia increases the stroke volume anemia causes tachycardia increase heart rate and therefore the product of these two that is cardiac output increases many more such videos now are coming uh, at regular intervals so it will be a good idea to subscribe to the channel